Are you ready? So my name is Rihanna van Evenhuizen. I started Cheetah Experience in 2006. My mission is to save the cheetahs from extinction. By captive breeding, we get the numbers up. My lifelong dream is to release cheetahs back into the wild. Cheetah Experience is situated on a 10 hectare piece of land. It's just outside Bloemfontein. We are still surrounded by the wild, so the animals are very relaxed here. What the cheetahs do is they look, for the, look at the antelopes and it's good for them to see it. I'm very strict when it comes to the animals, their health and their happiness. So it's humans that take care of them, but all the animals have their houses, they have structures. When we go into a camp with an animal, if they move away, you always respect them. If you always respect the animals, there is some kind of trust that they get in you. Our project get a lot of help from the volunteers. We've had over 2,000 volunteers from more than 25 countries. The volunteers support without them. There's no way that we can survive. So I found out about the place and came here to volunteer and just completely fell in love with the place. So I came back and back and back and then eventually asked for a job and got one. My name is Max. I am from Belgium. I'm 27 years old. I am the volunteer coordinator over here, so I take care of the volunteers. We have really, really great groups that get along really well. They go out together, they go for dinner, they go for drinks. Um, and the staff, what I think is pretty cool is that the staff really um, interacts with the volunteers as well. We're one of them. We're not more than the volunteers. We are just working here just like the volunteers. So we're all just one big group, one big family who works together, which is pretty cool. Oh, I get up around 6.30ish. We have a chores board basically, and every morning we look at the chores board and we find out what tasks we're gonna be doing at what times in the day. Normally it will include like poop scooping, and picking up the poo of the cheetahs, cleaning out their wash bowls. We do group activities as well. Two o'clock every day we cut the meat to feed the animals. Um, so we have to be very specific um, with cutting the meat for the cheetahs, they all have different meat, so it's majorly chicken, cow, horse. Um, a lot of cleaning, everything's got to be sterilised, so we do heaps and heaps of cleaning. Um, and then in our free time we get to spend just chilling out with the animals, whether it's the cheetahs or the bigger cats over on the lion side. So over here we have cheetahs obviously, lions, we have a tiger, we have leopards, wolves, servals, caracals, two meerkats and we also have a goat. Most of the animals are rescued animals or animals that people brought to me because they know I will take good care of them. We do daily educational tours. We want to educate the public what these animals are facing. Um, if people come here for a tour, they will go around the farm with one of our tour guides. They will take them around, um, go, go and see all the animals, tell them some general facts about the animals, but also some specific stories about the animals. See that they have the, do you see the fluffy hair on their neck? So when they're younger, they're completely covered in that, in that fluffy hair. It's called for the mantle. tourists, we uh, don't offer interaction um, because obviously the animals always come first. If we take tourists in with them, we're going to force it on them and obviously we don't want that. The staff, they have close contact with the animals. It's very important if there's something wrong with the animal that you can go up to them to see what's wrong. The main goal behind Cheetah Experience is obviously uh, because cheetahs are doing so bad, so there's only 7,000 left in the whole world, so obviously Rihanna um, couldn't, couldn't live with that. Yeah, I want to change people's minds um, because I must understand the importance of captive breeding, the importance of saving our wildlife. If we don't do something now, the next generation won't be able to know these animals. 
I think the difference between Tudor Experience and another project is how it's completely driven with love. Um, Rihanna's whole heart is in the project and you can see it everywhere on the project as well. I, I fell in love with a cheetah. I, I just saw it on a picture when I was 13. And then I already decided that I will one day, I will live close to these animals and I will make a difference in their lives. And like I told you, the animals always come first. So that is the main reason why I feel so in love with this place is because we do everything we possibly can for the animals. My experience so far um, has been life-changing, inspiring um, and yeah, heartwarming. I came here eventually and it's the best decision I've ever made. I haven't regretted it once, not a single time. I was born with this passion. It's not something that I realised one day, oh, I want to start this because maybe I can make money out of it. I was born with this passion to live for animals, to take care of them and to help them survive. Thank you.